it's time for our quick tip of the week. And this week's tip goes along kind of where we started last week in talking about using images. It is really something that works inside slides, docs, sheets, drawings, lots of different places, but you can search for images without leaving the actual file. So if you go to insert image and you go to search the web, a sidebar will open up and this is where you can search for images. So it is a Google image search built right in. So instead of having students open a new tab and really go down that whole rabbit hole and losing valuable instructional time, this is amazing. The other thing that I want to point out, when you hover over any of these images, this little magnifying glass pops up and you can preview. Down at the bottom of this preview, <laughs> it will tell you how the image is labeled for use. So this image is labeled for commercial use with modification, meaning students have permission to use it. Copyright friendly images built right in. So this is super handy. Um, you can, like I said, you can also do this in docs, insert image, search, same thing, same sidebar. Sheets looks a little bit different, there is um, a Google image search in the pop-up and then drawings kind of comes back to the sidebar. So really, really easy. Now, once you have selected your puppy <laughs> and then you click insert, that's it. You can insert that image and edit the images just like you always do and like I've shown in previous videos. So I love this. I love the fact that it can save us time in the classroom and it's super easy to use. If you like this tip, click that thumbs up and ring the bell so that you get notified when new tips come out each week. Bye, y'all.